All right, let's get the – do you know who who we're kicking the program off with today? Who was the first caller? Let's kick with Rob from Barberville, who's got a camera, and he says he uh, wants to change his belt, but he's scared to do it. Rob, you're on with the Magic Mechanic. Uh, hey, Larry, thanks for taking my call. Uh, great show. Uh, I have a 13 Toyota Camry with 90,000 miles on it, uh-huh. and I'm about to change the ho- the hoses, the thermostat, and the belt. I did get a, a, a Toyota brand thermostat. Uh, should I also change the tensioner with that kind of mileage on it? Uh, the only belt I seem to be able to get on myself is a Daco. Uh, so what's the trick on that with these other belts like the Gates and uh, Factory brand? I could, you know, that uh, it just hours trying to get it on, but I seem to have changed the Deco twice. And uh, and then should I use only a Toyota tensioner uh, versus, say, uh, you know, just a generic tensioner? Yeah. Or should I just you know, leave it? You know, they're so good. Yeah, Rob, I, I am. Well, I'll tell you what. You must do a lot of listening to this program. But, but listen, I'm going to tell you, I am scared to death of aftermarket tensioners right now. Uh, you want to talk about something embarrassing. Um, my neighbors, one of their vehicles is an 07 Honda Odyssey. And so when they need service done to it, you know, they throw me the keys and say, take it in to, to work with you, you know. So they had a, 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 a serpentine belt tensioner that was making noise. Uh, so we get it down to shop and uh, we go ahead and we put a tensioner on the daggone thing. And, you know, they she had we gave her back the car she had it for like three days and she called me up she said larry this thing's still making kind of the same noise and i'm like well i put a stethoscope on the tensioner so i knew that was what was wrong with it so i go over there and i check the daggone thing and sure enough that tensioner's making noise well we took i took it back to the shop no big deal you know i mean you know we get we get a tensioner it's making the same noise so we put another one on it and then she calls me up three days later, and guess what? The same exact thing. And here's my technician all along telling us, telling well, me and JD, just get an original equipment part. Well, the reason we didn't get it from Honda is they didn't have it in stock. So we had tried two aftermarkets. Well, I will tell you what, the third time around, we have done learned our lesson. Uh, we put an original Honda one on there, and there's no more problem with it. Evidently, what had happened was when they manufactured those, they must have not put a drop of grease on the bearing whenever they put, whenever they were assembled. And we all know where they probably, where the thing probably come from. Anyway, it's probably mass produced in China. So, you know, somehow, somehow or other, it didn't get any grease, I guess, on the bearing. But when you say original equipment, when it comes to something like a belt tensioner, nobody wants to do that job twice. And in my case, you don't want to do it for free two times, <laughs> you know, plus the hassle of sending the parts back and getting credit for them. So, yeah, I agree a wholeheartedly with that. When it comes to the belt, I'm not worried about the belt. Yeah, just about a Continental, a Deco, a, a Gates, all those belts are good belts. You're really not going to have an issue with any of them, uh, or, or I haven't seen any repetitive issues with them, you know, in a service life of, say, 90 to 100,000 miles. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I agree with that wholeheartedly. Um, and as far as your, if you're replacing the hoses and stuff on it as well, the only thing I will tell you is make sure that if there is any plastic fittings, I don't care if it's the, like if, if the thermostat cover on that engine is made out of plastic, make sure you buy one. Uh, you know, those are the type of plastic things that's, that'll crack and you'll make you lose your coolant. Any of your heater hose assemblies that has plastic unions where they join together, make sure you get those. Order them, make sure you have them in hand, and make sure they're the right ones before you tear your car apart. But I'm just telling you, anything made out of plastic will get you in trouble at this daggone mileage. Uh, you know, you can do all this maintenance and all these hoses, but if a pl- piece of plastic breaks on that cooling system, it'll, it'll, it'll overheat the motor and ruin it. So make sure everything plastic on the cooling system, except for the radiator, and you can keep an eye on it. But plastic, these other plastic parts, they'll just break completely in two. You lose all your coolant in just a matter of, just a minute or two. So radiator starts seeping or leaking, you, you'll catch that. But these other plastic pieces on the cooling system, they're the ones that'll get you in trouble. Hi folks, Larry Perry here. 
For automotive information, maybe you got automotive questions on cars, trucks, vans, SUVs. Maybe you're thinking about maybe purchasing a used vehicle, and maybe you just want my opinion. Tune in to the Magic Mechanic Radio Show every Saturday, 3 to 5 p.m. on WDBO.com. Uh, also, tune in to our Magic Mechanic YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll all get together, maybe fix a few cars while we're at it.